Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. Uh, we are back in the world of The Walking Dead. This is the final chapter that has been released, and this is my second episode of it. In the last video, we were pinned in the top of the mansion where we busted through the wall and came out um, in the adjacent building. Out on the road there, you could see... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Out on the road there, you could see some walkers uh, already scouring the, the area. Going out this window. Lee, of course, is suffering from his bite. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. All right, Kenny. All right. Not a problem. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. like some water to cleanse your throat. How you doing, Ben? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Hopefully you can help this time and not fuck everything up. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. It's not good to think like that, what man. What do you call this thing? Art? So, we were tasked with trying to find a way out. How about this door? There's a small balcony leading to the top of another building, it looks like. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Yeah, just let the crippled guy go first. It's fine. I won't need any help. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ben, hurry up. Hurry up, Ben. Ben? <gasps> Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Uh, keep... Ka... Keep a lookout. Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. Fuck, Ben. Why can't you do anything? Ow. Um, I'm okay. No, you're not. You're not okay. This is gonna be disgusting, isn't it? I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh. Quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah. Try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. Oh, We're this... gonna get your ass up. This is gonna be disgusting. Really? I thought you... <gasps> oh my god. Oh, fucking Oh my god. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh my we god. You. We can uh, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I got Oh my god. I don't know what we to gotta say. Do something. Please. Fuck! Fuck! If you're gonna do it, pull them all the way off. Oh god, don't let them get to me! Ted? 
have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Okay, okay. okay. I'm going. Good. Get back up there. Now! What are you gonna do? Fucking go! Kenny, you should have fucking come with me, man. You should have come with me! Back, you sons of bitches! up and I don't know there's nothing else god damn god I heard a shot Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Oh, shit, man. Shit. We started out with the most people that we could have going into this chapter, and I'm bitten and we're two down. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. Fuck. Be careful across here. <laughs> Let me take all the risk. Well, let's walk across this rickety-ass bridge. We're gonna be fine. This is just trying to build tension. We're fine. 
Nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They gotta know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, Jesus, man. I hope we find Clementine. I really hope we find Clementine. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. I'll go first. In case anything happens. Not even there. thinking about it. You no sure? question. Yeah. We have to do it. We have to get there for Clem. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Go! Go, Lee, go! Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh... I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! It's fucked, Lee! I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Um. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Well, this seems careless. Oh my god.
Wow. If we lost consciousness during that, we would have been fucked. Absolutely fucked. Come on, Clementine. Please be here. Please be here, Clementine. Please. A lot of doors being closed in my house. I apologize. Let's try to listen through the door. Nothing. There's a string tied to the door down there. What is this? The fuck are you doing? I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is sip. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just good God. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No, I have no idea. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't ours. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. 
I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! Who is this guy to say? All this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our plan. So there's multiple. Listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Yes, she would. That's just the world we live in now. All right. I expected you to put up a fight. No, you're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... That's the head of his wife in there. I'm glad to. Clem. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. Clementine. I like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Fight him off. Fight him off. Come on. No, no, no! Stop him! We shouldn't do this in front of Clementine. We shouldn't fucking do this in front of Clementine. Good God, he is resistant. <laughs> Clementine shot him. <sighs> Thank
Thank you, Clev. I, I, I. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I. You look horrible. I know. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Oh, shit. That was fucked up. I kind of want to see this. This is. That really is his wife's head in there. It's still moving? was a psychopath. No wonder he had to keep insisting he wasn't fucking crazy. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for today's video. Sorry about all the door closing. It, I, it's actually like really cool outside so we have all the windows open. So if anyone closes a door in the house, it reverberates. My apologies. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment down below as well. And if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe. I don't know how this is going to play out, but at least we have Clementine back. I just don't know how much longer we have. <laughs>